is very simply to empower individuals when they believe that actions of government impinge on their constitutional First Amendment freedom of religion. And frankly, George, there's a lot of people across this country uh, who uh, you're looking at uh, Obamacare uh, and the Hobby Lobby decision, looking at other cases who feel uh, that their religious liberty is being infringed upon. Uh, and, uh, and the Religious Freedom Restoration Act at the federal level and all the states now, including Indiana, who have it, are simply about addressing that. This is not about discrimination. This is but about empowering people let me to try confront to pin you, let government let me try to pin overreach, you down George. There, though, on it because your supporters say it would. And so, so yes or no, if a florist in Indiana refuses to serve a gay couple uh, at their wedding, is that legal now in Indiana? George, this is this is where this debate has gone. With with the question, sir. Yes or no? Well, well this, there's been shameless rhetoric about my state and about this law and about its intention all over the internet. People are trying to make it about one particular issue, and now you're doing that as well. The the issue here, the, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act has been on the books for more than 20 years. It does not apply, George, to disputes between individuals unless government action is involved. And in point of fact, in more than two decades, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act has never been used to undermine anti-discrimination laws in this country. Sir, I'm, Look, I'm just bringing the, up the a question, message from one of your supporters. Here. That was one of your supporters who was talking about the bill right there. It said it would protect a Christian florist who uh, yeah. against any kind of punishment. Is that true or not? George, look, the, the issue here is, you know, is tolerance a two-way street or not? I mean, you know, there's a lot of talk about tolerance in this country today having to do with people on the left. Uh, and uh, But here Indiana steps forward to protect uh, the constitutional rights and privileges of freedom of religion uh, for people of faith and families of faith uh, in our state. Sheriff, you can't go now. We need you. Work here is done. Needed elsewhere now. Needed wherever outlaws rule the West. Wherever innocent women and children are afraid to walk the streets. Wherever a man cannot live in simple dignity. Wherever a people cry out for justice. Bullshit! All right, you caught me. Speak the plain truth. It's getting pretty damn dull around here. Good luck, Bart, and God bless you.